All right. Today we're going to be doing a Hornberg special. This was a dry fly that was originally created in uh, Wisconsin by a game warden named Frank Hornberg. Um, we're going to be using some, I got a number eight hook. I have black UTC thread 210. I have two grizzly hackles, silver tinsel, a bunch of red bucktail. The original recipe was yellow. And I have two wood duck flank from a wood duck I shot yesterday. So we're going to be adding up all that. And the original recipe calls for jungle cock to go over the wood duck feathers. I don't have any, so we're going to be using a grouse that I shot a couple years ago. So first things first, going to get our thread onto the hook. Now I've used this fly in uh, New York to catch brook trout. Used it when I lived out in New Mexico and Colorado to catch cutthroats and rainbows. Very versatile fly. So first thing we did, we get our uh, thread on there. Going to take our tinsel now, silver, and we're going to tie that in. Now, another thing, along with this fly being versatile to fish, it's also versatile to tie. You can use pretty much any colors you want, and you're going to come out with a great fly. All right. Just push that thread back there. I'm just going to take my tinsel. I'm just going to go around the shank. Now this, the whole shank of the hook is going to be covered by the wood duck flank and the red bucktail. So it doesn't need to be perfect, but I like to try, try to get it as close as possible to it being uh, completely covered. Just so it'll get some flash maybe, hit the sun right and all that just looks better also it's practice for flies where the tinsel and ribbons and stuff do need to be completely covered alright so I got it up here I'm gonna tie it off snip off the excess tinsel now next thing I'm going to do is add my red bucktail I see a strand of red thread. It's annoying me. There we go. I already got my uh, red bucktail in my hair stacker. So I'm just gonna get all the fibers there all lined up. Remove any of the excess fibers. Now, what I'm gonna do, I don't have a lot going to cover up basically from where the thread is all the way down the shank to the bend in the hook and go a little bit past that that's probably good right there hold it with my thumb and forefinger take my bobbin just go up down up down and tie it in there there we go going to come up front trim off all the excess And just hold them in place and make sure they're tied off nice and snugly there. Alright, so right now it's looking like a streamer. But this is where we add the two wood duck flanks. Alright, so as you can see the wood duck flanks have a bend in them. Basically we're going to take one with a bend going this way, tie it in. And the other one with the bend going towards the camera and also tie that in. Ooh 
They're a bit long, so we're going to remove some extra fibers here. Remove fibers on both of them to shrink them up a bit. There we go. So we're going to have one here. Take the other one. Put that one there. And tie them in. Holding them down. There we go. Cut off the excess feather here. And just whoop, attach my finger there. Tie them in securely. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take these two grouse feathers. Now I removed a whole bunch of the fiber just to get the tip. So we're going to line that up there, hold it down, and just tie it around there. Same thing on my side, flat up against the body. There we go, just hold it, tie that a couple times. And there we go, all tied in. Now next step we're going to do, we're going to add the two hackles. Grizzly hackles, you can use brown, the grizzly, those are the ones I use most of the time, so those are the ones I have on stock. I have a few other colors, just depends on what you want your, uh, your fly to look like. So I got my two grizzly hackles here. Hold them down. And there we go. Same thing as before. Just going to tie them on. Up to the front there. Now I'm going to take my grizzly pliers, or hackle pliers, not grizzly pliers, hackle pliers. Pull my grizzly grizzly hackles tight and just run my fingers against the fibers that'll get them to stand up and spread out just gonna make for a better hackle and then you just start wrapping moving down towards the eye of the hook one more there we go now I'm just going to hold it and tie them in. Cut off my excess hackle fibers here. I got a few stragglers there. That's all right. Just come in and snip those off. Now, the thing working with duck flanks is that they're curved on the duck. And these have been sitting under, oh, I don't know, maybe five or six college textbooks to try to get them flattened out. And they're actually, believe it or not, a lot better than they were. So, we're going to finish this fly off with a few whip finishes in the front. Nice pull. Take some head cement. Get a dab of that. Pull back my fiber so I don't get those. Get the thread. Cut off my excess. And there you have it. A Harmburg special. There we go. Used as a dry fly or wet fly or streamer. And like I said, oh, my thread's coming undone a little bit here. 
Ooh, give that a pull. That's better. So dry fly, wet fly, streamer, used for trout. Used caught bass with them. Wouldn't be surprised to catch some some pike once in a while.